What a week of basketball it was from the Magic Kingdom, the ESPN Wide World of Sports playing host to the Tire Pros Invitational. And Xavier ends up taking it from Northern Iowa, your final 67-59. So Xavier remains undefeated on the early portion of this season. And here's a look at how it happened. Xavier got a fight from the Clemson Tigers in the semifinals. They won 83-77. And Northern Iowa came from 18 down to take down the Oklahoma Sooners in overtime, 73-67, which set up a terrific matchup in the finals. And it was as advertised, a really entertaining, well-played and well-coached game. But credit Chris Mack and company. The Musketeers are going back with a championship trophy to Cincinnati. Rich Hollenberg and LaFonzo Ellis here inside HP Fieldhouse to wrap things up. And it's kind of tough to do because we saw a lot of terrific teams in this mm -hmm. eight-team field, and we also saw some great individual performances. We really did. Uh, you even talk about a Jerron Blossom game who we saw yes, actually today, a guy who wasn't getting the basketball very often in the first half, and he just exploded in the second half. I think he went for 17 in the second half. So many wonderful individual performances this week. Well, Xavier certainly had their fair share. J.P. Mercura in the semifinals with 28 points. <laughs> yeah. But in the championship game, when the chips are on the line, the two stars for the Xavier Musketeers, Trayvon Blewett and Edmund Sumner, really came to shine. Combined for 37 of the total 67 point score tonight. Edmund Sumner usually really good off the bounce, but after you got a couple layups going to the rim, got a little confidence in that 15-foot jump shot. Northern Iowa could not stop him off the bounce. Trayvon Blewett started off the game knocking down a deep ball and that got him rolling early they were able to get him the basketball in one-on-one -on -one situations with the bigs of northern iowa they exploited it all night long and it was a tough job for the media the all tournament team trayvon blue it's your mop jack gibbs makura jeremy moore i think the the lesson is if your name starts with the letter j you're going to be on the all tournament <laughs> team and then if you're trayvon blue you win the mop but credit clint carlson he's one player that comes to mind from the northern iowa panthers that was certainly deserving of being on this list as well absolutely when you think about his performance even yesterday his team's down 18 in the second half he put that team on his shoulders and carried them back in the basketball game scored six straight baskets ended up with what 27 points mm -hmm. yesterday and Clint Carlson did a wonderful job 21 points per game coming into tonight's game but couldn't quite get in the offense credit the defense of Xavier from shutting them down eight teams came to Orlando to take place in the tire pros invitational and only one team is able to make a claim that they left undefeated and this year it was the Xavier Musketeers ranked 11th in the country they finished 3 and 0 the only team without a win the Tulane Green Wave and even they performed very well against top notch competition it was a fun week it was terrific basketball as it always is and we have more to look forward to as we usually do Fonz next year the field including the Florida State Seminoles out of the ACC Iowa State Cyclones out of the Big 12 South Carolina Frank Martin returning to Puerto Rico where he's from that's going to be interesting Tulsa UTEP and Western Michigan round out the field of eight for next year's tire pros Puerto Rico tip off November 16th 17th and 19 final thoughts from you my friend yeah what a wonderful week uh, gracious hosts here at Walt Disney our crew was outstanding rich and it's always fun working with you some of the individual performances that we saw this week just tremendous. Everyone from J.P. McCure to Jerron Blossom game. We already talked about Clint Carlson. Just some terrific basketball, some great early tests for several teams in this tournament. But in the end, only one team walks away with a winner and a championship, and that is the Xavier Musketeers this year. Congratulations to Chris Mack and the rest of the Musketeers going back to Cincinnati with a championship trophy from Disney World. That'll do it for us here. We're glad you joined us for LaFonzo Ellis and everybody here at ESPN's family. I'm Rich Hollenberg saying so long, and we'll see you next year from the Tire Pros Invitational.